Most of us have probably heard about Roth conversions, but a common question that comes up is, well, how do I actually pay the taxes on my Roth conversions? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you everything that you need to know about how to pay the taxes on your Roth conversions to get the most out of this important tax strategy. Hey everybody, my name is Jacob Duke and I'm a certified financial planner and I'm here to help you succeed in retirement. When it comes to planning for retirement, we often hear about how we need to be planning for taxes and implementing different strategies that help lower our tax bills. And Roth conversions are often brought up as a way to do that. When doing a Roth conversion, you're electing to pay the tax now on some of your pre-tax savings so that you can move money into a Roth IRA. So you're moving money from a pre-tax account to a post-tax account. And when you do this, you're having to pay income taxes on that money. Now, Roth conversions are not always helpful for everyone, but if you're someone who has a large portion of your retirement savings in a tax-deferred IRA or 401k, you should consider evaluating using a Roth conversion and seeing if they're right for you. And once you or your financial planner have decided that Roth conversions are right for you, one of the biggest questions that comes up is how do I pay the taxes when I do those conversions? And this is what I wanted to share with you today. So there are two primary ways that you can pay the taxes on your Roth conversions. So I'm gonna walk through each of these different ways and then I'm gonna give you my thoughts on perhaps the best way to pay those taxes. So be sure to stay to the end. Okay, the first way to pay the taxes on your conversions is to have the taxes withheld from the amount that you're converting. So for example, if you're doing a $100,000 conversion and you're withholding taxes from the conversion amount, you will choose how much to withhold based on your expected tax rate. So you need to know what your total income is gonna be for the year before you add the conversion amount to that total. This will help you know what your marginal tax rate will be on your conversion amount for both the federal and the state level. Once you know what your tax rate will be, well, then you can have that amount withheld from your conversion. So back to our example of a $100,000 conversion. If your federal tax rate is gonna be 22%, let's say, and your state rate is gonna be 5%, you would be withholding a total of 27% or 27,000. So you're taking $100,000 out of your IRA and 73,000 is actually going into your Roth. Now, it's important to know whenever you're withholding taxes from your conversion amount, your age could be an important factor. Do you remember the distribution rules for taxes and penalties on IRAs? Well, you'll always be taxed anytime you take a distribution from your IRA, but if you take that distribution before age 59 and a half, you will owe an additional 10% penalty on top of the taxes you're already gonna pay. So that 10% penalty is just added on top. Now, what's interesting is that whenever you withhold taxes from a conversion amount, the tax withholdings are considered a distribution out of the IRA. So if you're under age 59 and a half, you would have an additional 10% penalty on the amount of your withholding. Now, we're gonna walk through an example really quickly, but first I wanted to emphasize that the entire conversion amount is not subject to that 10% early withdrawal penalty. Only the tax withholdings are. Think of it this way, whenever you're doing a Roth conversion, you're moving money from a traditional IRA to a Roth, so the money is never outside of an IRA. So is the money ever not in an IRA account? No, it's still in an IRA, it just moved from one to another. Because of this, it's not considered an IRA distribution, thus your age does not matter to do a conversion. So I repeat, whenever you're doing a Roth conversion, you can do them at any age without a penalty. But if we think about the tax withholdings, we are taking them from the traditional IRA and it's not going into the Roth. That money is being sent to the IRS to pay your taxes. So since the money's not staying in either the traditional IRA or the Roth IRA, it's considered a distribution and that is where the penalty on the tax amount could be an issue whenever you're doing a Roth conversion under age 59 and a half. Okay, so back to our example. The tax withholding on your $100,000 conversion was $27,000. That $27,000 is considered to be a distribution from your IRA. So you will owe tax on it, but if you're under the age of 59 and a half, you will also be assessed an additional 10% penalty for making an early distribution. So now you would owe an additional $2,700 on top of the $27,000 that you're already paying. So I know that there's a lot there, but let's continue on and learn a little bit about the second way that you can pay the taxes on your Roth conversions. Now, this one is a little bit more straightforward and it's that you can simply pay the taxes with cash that you have on hand. So if you're doing a $100,000 conversion, that means that $100,000 will be moved from your traditional IRA over into your Roth and you would pay that $27,000 worth of taxes out of cash that you have on hand. When paying the taxes on a conversion with cash, I would suggest probably going ahead and prepaying those taxes so that you're not assessed any late penalties. So you can either pay those by paying them in full at the time of the conversion, or you can make estimated quarterly payments throughout the year. So you might be wondering, well, which is the best way to pay the taxes? Well, in almost every situation, it's best to pay the taxes on your Roth conversions with cash you have on hand, 
rather than having those taxes withheld from your IRA. This is because if you move the full conversion amount over from your traditional IRA into your Roth IRA, you can immediately begin to see the benefits of the tax-free growth inside of that Roth account. Thinking back to our example of a $100,000 conversion with $27,000 in taxes, it's better to have that $27,000 growing tax-free in your Roth IRA instead of having that still sitting in cash or in your taxable account. Now, the benefits are not immediate because your net worth is technically still the same, but long-term, having that $27,000 growing tax-free will boost your after-tax retirement accounts. On the flip side, if you have the taxes withheld in the conversion amount, you have to dig out of this hole before you can actually begin to see the benefits of the Roth. A second reason to pay the taxes from cash or from a taxable account rather than withholding them comes into play whenever you're under age 59 and a half, as I mentioned earlier. I see this penalty catch a lot of people off guard all the time because uh, they're just unaware of how the tax rules work. And the penalty ends up eating into those different tax benefits of doing the Roth conversions in the first place. So paying the taxes with cash is gonna end up giving you the best results from your Roth conversions. And this gives me the opportunity to remind you of the importance of building up your cash or after-tax assets before retirement. If you don't have any cash to pay the taxes with, you're gonna be forced to have the taxes withheld anytime you do a conversion. So creating flexibility for yourself in retirement is an important part of making the most of your money. It's important to create a thoughtful plan for where you save throughout your career. And as you get closer to retirement, it becomes that much more important. So when deciding how to pay the taxes on your Roth conversions, I really encourage you to consult with your trusted advisor or planner. All the different moving parts of a Roth conversion can be confusing and making sure your taxes are paid correctly could save you from being penalized uh, and seeing the benefits of your Roth conversion sooner. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Once again, my name is Jacob Duke, and if you're interested in learning more about how I actually help my clients succeed in retirement, click on the link down in the description below to learn more.